In this video, we will identify different components of the smartphone. Uh, here we have a Samsung Galaxy S3 phone. Uh, and we'll start with the antenna first. The signal uh, is received by the antenna here. This is the main antenna. A typical smartphone will have several antennas. One for one is called the main antenna for the communications. We also have a different antenna for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, also uh, GPS, and uh, most smartphones these days have near-field communications, which is called NFC. So there's typically about five or so antennas per uh, smartphone. And the most important antenna is this antenna, which is called the main antenna. You can see that this has a quite a long trace here, and there's also a gap inside the metal and also this metal, this conductive trace is underneath this white plastic and that's it's underneath so that the antenna won't be damaged when the cover is taken off, when the back cover is taken off and um, you know uh, some modifications or repairs could be made to the antenna and we don't want this main antenna to be touched at all, to be modified at all. And one imp important part about this is this portion here, this is the feed of the antenna. So the signal comes in and out of this signal. An incoming signal from a cell phone tower will be picked up by this uh, main antenna and the signal will be traced through here and go through this feed and underneath this cover and into the main uh, motherboard over here where the signal is processed and then you can hear the other person's voice or you can see their, uh, a video conference or uh, text messages are sent back and forth that is done through this main antenna unless of course the text uh, text is sent through Wi-Fi which will be a different antenna okay. uh, a rule of thumb for antennas is that the longer the trace the the lower the frequency that the antenna will operate at uh, for 4G LTE phones Typically, the, there are two frequency bands. One is the lower frequency, which operates at 700 MHz, 800 MHz, 900 MHz, and in that range. And also an upper frequency, which operates at 1.8 GHz and 1.9 GHz. Uh, depending on the different countries, these frequency bands may change a little bit. Uh, for example, in Europe, it's also different. Asia, uh, South America, U.S., uh, and, and depending on, on the different countries. Let's look at the second antenna here, which is actually shorter. So if we go back to the rule of thumb that I mentioned before, the shorter the antenna, the higher the frequency that this antenna will operate at. Meaning, if this was 700, 800, or 900 megahertz, this will probably be around 2.4 gigahertz, or maybe even 5 gigahertz. Wi-Fi antennas operate at those frequencies. Bluetooth is also at high frequencies as well. So we can imagine that this would be one of those uh, antennas. And also it has a feed here where the signal uh, is picked up by this metal and is, uh, goes through this metal and into this feed and goes underneath the feed and into this board. So let's look at uh, where the feed is located underneath this cover. Okay, so if we take off this cover, okay, place that right here. Right, so here we see the feed, right? And this feed is connected to this piece here. Okay, so let's take a look at this a little bit closer. Okay. So you can see this metal piece is connected here, and the signal will go through this path. And this uh, feed here is connected. Uh, to a motherboard which is actually missing for this particular phone and it's uh, so the signal will go through this metal and through the uh, different trace and onto this motherboard here. Let's focus on where the signal comes from this feed and where the signal goes to. So if we zoom in a little bit closer you can see here this is where uh, the motherboard touches the antenna and the signal will go through this component. This can be either a capacitor, inductor, or a resistor. And we can see many of those components here. So all of these rectangular box-shaped components are 
either a resistor, a capacitor, or an inductor. And typically the larger ones are capacitors. In the next video, we will look at uh, the integrated circuits, transistors, and other components in the uh, in this motherboard and in the smartphone.